You know, nobody has to wax floors anymore. Here, watch Mrs. Harris. See, no more wax and no more waxing equipment for her. Ads, 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 and more ads! I'm John P. Welcome to Geek Beat. Oh, and uh, we'll be right back after these messages. Hey, where's the thief? I don't think there's anybody back there. The American Dairy Association, representing the dairy farmers in your area. Just pay separate processing and handling. In the meantime, here's something that you homemakers will most certainly appreciate. Now, there's Microtouch Max, designed to go where razors and scissors shouldn't go. And it's the best grater you'll ever use. And Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Peels potatoes and slices paper-thin potato chips. I've fallen, and I can't get up. And remember, if I can't feed a new car here in Dillon, Texas, I'm just going to give it to you. What the beep? Everywhere I look, there's ads. I turn on the TV, ads. I fire up the internet, ads. Turn on the radio, you guessed it, ads. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by lynda.com. Alfred Hitchcock is rolling in his freaking grave because he didn't make a horror movie about ads instead of silly birds. And it's only going to get worse from here, ads really will quite literally be everywhere. Now, Google wants to serve ads on my refrigerator. My refrigerator! I'm sure our Hot Point refrigerator doesn't mind either. I've never seen anything so strong and well built. Those little digital screens that you thought were gonna make your fridge smart to track your grocery list and run the ball game so you wouldn't miss a second when you make a beer run are instead gonna have the added evil of ads. Is there nothing sacred anymore? I can't go to the fridge and get a nice, cold, refreshing verve in peace? Strike a nerve. Get some verve. But wait, that's not all, folks. How about your smartphone, your smartwatch, your smart car, even your smart thermostat? Advertisers want to hit you everywhere with ads. Just pummeling, pummeling. Pummeling! That reminds me of that ad in Dallas. I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer, and I get results. How about your nice new shiny Google Glass displaying ads about eating products high in fiber? I suggest you avoid the smart toilet, people. By the way, Dave, how do you like my new Gunner Optics computer glasses? They're engineered to reduce eye strain while increasing contrast, comfort, and focus. Gunners.com. Be like John P. A road diverges in the desert. Lexus. The road you're on, John Anderton, is the one less traveled. Look, I get it. Stuff costs money to make and distribute and sell. Being in business costs a lot of money, but do we really need all of this advertising? Advertisers think we do. I'm beginning to wonder if I should shift my fear of robots to ads. Now that I have given you that chilling thought, we should best be getting on with the principal business of the evening, selling our sponsor's product. If you head over to lynda.com forward slash geekbeat, they're going to give you a week free for videos on any topic you can imagine. Like, maybe you could learn graphics design and game programming and write a game people are actually willing to pay for so you don't have to stick any ads in it. Or... You could learn photography and video production techniques so you could put out a competing show called Geeks That Beat Geek Beat where you rant about John P's rants. And yes, now I'm referring to myself in the third person. Lynda.com forward slash Geek Beat. Get some. Hello, Mr. Yakamoto. Welcome back to The Gap. To be honest, I wouldn't really mind ads so much if they would just develop a way to read my mind and target me with ads for things I might actually want. And now someone has. Personal Neuro has created a brain scanning Google Glass like device that reads your mood, your stress levels, and other measurable aspects of your inner being and attempts to satisfy you in ways you never thought possible. I'm not sure my targeted ads will be fit for sharing, but bring it on, Neuro. Let's see what you got. Oh, speaking of money, Here's a seriously targeted ad. Since you are actually watching this show, perhaps you don't mind helping us deal with the cost of the new Geek House. A huge thank you to all of our patrons who are already helping support the show by visiting geekbeat.tv forward slash patrons. But we've also come up with another way for you to help out and get your name on our wall of fame in the new Geek House. 
by purchasing a plaque with your name, logo, picture, or comment. It all depends on what size plaque you buy. Head over to geekby.tv forward slash fundraiser for all the details. That's all for now, folks. I'm John P. I'm gonna go barricade myself in my underground lair and wait for the advertising apocalypse to subside. If you wish one of these lovely vases, just send us your name and address together with $45,000 in cash. This will not be repeated. Thank <laughs> you.